And giving you a live look at the U.S. Capitol, Mike Johnson's first full day as House Speaker is now in the books. The Arklatex native has taken the gavel and tackled issues early in his tenure. Now that includes going one on one exclusively with our very own Dominique Ben. And tonight she sits down with Johnson on his journey to this point and what he hopes to accomplish in this seat. In my exclusive interview with House Speaker Mike Johnson, he said he is still the kid from South Shreveport and that is in his heart. I asked him three weeks ago, did he ever think that he would be in this position? He said, are we dreaming right now? It was not a job that I ever aspired to do, but now he's trying to restore trust and transparency. Have you spoken to former President Donald Trump? I did. I talked to him a few times over the weekend, Friday night or Saturday night, Sunday. I've talked to him several times since. I mm -hmm. uh, also went and met with, at the White House with President Biden today. We had a one-on-one a -on -one for 15 or 20 minutes, I think. Um, How'd it go? It went great. I mean, uh, look, we respect the office. We respect the individual who holds the office, no matter who they are, even if our policies are very different. I have lots of policy differences with the president, but I respect him as an individual. And that's another biblical admonition. We are to give honor where honor is due. And um, when you're with the president of the United States, whether they're in your party or not, you give them respect. And that's what I'll do. Initially, when he first went in and was elected, you voted to not certify those votes. Has that changed? No. Well, there are two things can be true at the same time. Joe Biden is the duly elected president of the United States. I've never said otherwise. Uh, what I was involved in at the time was a constitutional argument that we actually presented to the Supreme Court. And a lot of people are trying to misconstrue this right now and say I'm an election denier. What, what I was saying is during that election in 2020, after COVID, and everybody forgets the details of that year in 2020, everything was in great upheaval because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of the states began to change their election laws. Some did it by, by fiat, by the governor, an executive order. Some used their state secretary of state. There are many other ways that it was done, but the key question was, was it done constitutionally? And in many of those states, the changes that they made occasioned by COVID as the excuse were never ratified by their state legislatures. And here's the basic problem that no one can argue otherwise. Article 2, Section 1 of the U.S. Constitution says that to choose an elector to select a president, the state legislative body is the only body that can set the rules to do that. And it's a very plain legal argument. The Supreme Court kind of dodged it but the facts are still the facts. And so when, they, when, when the states that had done that came to the floor, 147 of my colleagues and I um, said, if, if there's a constitutional infirmity in the way that the electors were chosen, it's the fruit of the poisonous tree doctrine, you know? The, the fruit can't be right if the tree itself was unconstitutional. That was our argument, that was our concern. You, everyone knows how it resolved, and um, Joe Biden is the president now, but that election was involved an unprecedented level of, um, of, of uh, differences and, and problems, I think, under the Constitution. So that's always been my position. KSLA News 12 was the first station in the country to have a one-on-one -on -one sit-down interview with House Speaker Mike Johnson. You can find the entire interview on our website, KSLA.com, and our mobile app. Reporting from the United States Capitol, Dominic Ben, KSLA News 12.